what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. We are here in Las Vegas for the 2023 edition of the CES show. And guess what? Lots of technology to be found at CES, but also automotive industry technology. And I have something here that is literally mind blowing. This is it. This is that Mercedes Benz Vision EQXX. But before we get into this ultimate in long range EV, let's talk about what's going on here. Mercedes Benz, they've always been at the forefront when it comes to luxury, when it comes to style and design, and of course, performance. As the automotive industry is changing with electrification, so is Mercedes Benz. Now, we already brought to you the EQS sedan, we brought you the EQE sedan, and we have the upcoming EQS. 450 plus SUV. Now, of course, when it comes to electrification, a lot of people are talking about range. They're talking about sustainability. And that's something that Mercedes-Benz is trying to show with this Vision EQXX. So what I wanna do is I wanna take you around, show you all the advancements that Mercedes-Benz is working on and how this is gonna show that forward direction. And is this the king of those hypermiling electric vehicle sedans. Let's go ahead, let's dive into this Vision EQXX and find out. Right off the bat, the shape, the color. Mercedes-Benz and silver go hand in hand like peanut butter and jelly. And you know what? Going back to the original Grand Prix racing days, it was the silver arrows. Painted silver representing Germany and that Mercedes-Benz shining star. Now at the front of the business, you're gonna see the direction that they're taking with their aerodynamics. Now what's fascinating is, just like we showed you with the EQS sedans and that upcoming SUV that we have, you could see a lot of that familiar style, but they're taking it to another level when it comes to drag coefficient numbers. This has a 0.17 drag coefficient, so very slippery through the air, and that's one way to help get greater range. It's not just about battery size. And what's interesting is not only does this have a very slippery shape, but we're talking about a smaller battery. So what are we talking about overall? Less weight. So this is something that Mercedes-Benz, like I said, being at the forefront of that German technology, this is what they got. But I love the way that they sculpted the headlight housing. Of course, you're gonna have full LED headlights, the signature daytime running lamps. And that's another way that I think Mercedes-Benz is gonna separate themselves from the rest of the EV crowd is with their signature lighting. It really gives it a unique style. And you know that rolling down the road before you even see it, if you see that signature lighting, you know it's a Mercedes-Benz product. You'll notice on the corners, those massive corner air curtains, that's gonna help channel the air around the front of the vehicle. And then as we come to the center section, you just see how low that hood scoops down We'll also see how they take that star design and sprinkle it in the center. I like the way Mercedes-Benz is doing that. They're taking part of their design, part of their badging, and they're making it unique to their EQS lineup. And with this EQXX, it's showing what that potential of that extreme that we could find. Now, on the lower section, of course, they put a little bit of that nice bronze fixture on the lower splitter area. You do have a very special lithium ion cool battery pack that's actually gonna be 50% smaller than what you find on an EQS. And what's great is, is that I know a lot of times people are thinking about performance when they think of high horsepower. This is not necessarily that direction. This is about massive range and mileage. Now, when you get up onto that hood, love the way they have that silver star there. Of course, they're gonna keep everything sleek to increase that aerodynamic efficiency. You'll notice on the hood, I absolutely love what they've done with the aerodynamics to have this car go through the air. I could see this going down the Nürburgring, just really unbelievable on the Autobahn, the shape, the proportions, the way that you have the hood that kind of comes into the fenders. And then as we come around the bend, you know, you'll see a lot of technology of design that actually Mercedes-Benz has worked on with Formula One. Now, when we look at the front wheels and tires, what you're gonna notice is that you're gonna have these Bridgestone specific tires developed for this vehicle. They are actually low resistance, and then you'll also notice the wheel cover. I love the way that they took the actual bronze from the front, brought it onto the wheel, and then you'll notice how that's gonna help with aerodynamic efficiency down the side of the vehicle. 
with the lower resistance tire, that's gonna help increase our range. And then like I was showing you from the front, the way the hood is actually part of the fender as well gives it a nice seamless design, which I think, like I said, what you've seen from other Mercedes-Benz vehicles, you're gonna see with this EQXX. Now, as we continue down the side, you have your EQXX badge, very similar to what you'll find on your EQS. And then I'm gonna have Lori kind of swing around and show that aerodynamic efficiency coming off that front fender. Absolutely su stunning how this is very sculpted. Now, when it comes to the brakes on this, to help with overall weight, you're looking at a light aluminum alloy, believe it or not, for the actual brake rotors. They're trying a lot of different technology from Formula One with regen braking and everything else to increase that overall range. And what has been supposedly shown by Mercedes is a range of over 600 miles with this vehicle. Now, I love how you have that massive roof. Now, if you're wondering, well, Joe, is that a panoramic glass roof? No, those are ultra thin solar panels. So now we're taking solar technology and we're bringing it into the EV realm to help boost that range overall. Obviously, right now, we can't show you the interior, but what you'll notice is, is on the dash area is this beautiful full screen from one side to the other with beautiful digital clear graphics and fonts. Of course, you're gonna have that amazing Mercedes-Benz steering wheel with all that great feedback that will come from the front end of the vehicle into the wheel itself, but really taking all those design elements that you're familiar with from your traditional Mercedes-Benz vehicle and showcasing it in this EQXX. I love the way they have the flush mounted door handles. That's just gonna help with that overall efficiency through the air. And then one thing you'll notice is the back of the car. Now, Mercedes-Benz, obviously a lot of people remember what the whole 24 Hours Le Mans and racing is all about with this whole system. It's about aerodynamic efficiency. So if you go back to 1999, Mercedes-Benz developed a CLK GTR race car with a long tail. So with this vehicle, extending that long tail is gonna help our aerodynamic efficiency. You'll also notice the LED lighting as it wraps over and across the back, really clean. But it was those CLK GTRs that really push aerodynamic efficiency to the limits to where actually a couple of them took off at the race and that's why they never finished the races because they went flying through the air. Now, as we come around the back, look at the way the rear fenders come into that rear end. Like I was saying, over 630 mile range and you're looking at around only 200 horsepower because like I said, we're trying to maximize the range of this v Vision EQXX. All light composite materials, love the way they work the rear diffuser with the LED lighting. And then of course, you'll notice coming off the rear with the solar panels into that extended tail with the Mercedes-Benz logo. Just very unique design showing the future and the direction of what Mercedes-Benz is gonna be bringing with their EV lineup. Nice to see it here at CES. And this is something that you're gonna see more and more when it comes to this whole system of electrification. Now, as we kind of come around the other side, just to give you the whole view even the way they did the chrome trim very very nicely done gives it that nice classic familiar mercedes-benz look that mercedes-benz style of course you're going to have your full capability with the solar panels and extending your range and then at the end of the day you have that great nameplate and that's what really makes it a standout with this industry of electrification is having a mercedes-benz product that really pushes the limits. But let me know what you think down in the comment section. Are you liking what this Vision EQXX is bringing to the table? We are here at CES. We are wrapping it up. We're actually gonna back up a little bit on the, the, the floor and just kind of showcase this whole display that they have here. But like I was saying, lighter battery, smaller battery, the car weighs 3,800 pounds, and that is what's gonna help with that range and efficiency. But let me know what you think here. Is Mercedes-Benz onto something? Do you like what they're bringing with this EQXX? Let me know in that comment section, but if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. Of course, we got to thank Lori, working that camera like a champ. 
She really is into this Mercedes-Benz vehicle. She's very excited to get behind the wheel of the EQS 450 Plus, which we have coming soon to you on the channel. But thank you, Lori, for your hard work. Thank you for making this happen. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.